Ya mara tena siku nyingine wakati mwingine nafasi zingine ambao Bwana wetu ameweza kunipa mimi na wewe ili tukaweze kukutana na kufarijiana na kuinuana katika kipindi chetu cha Been Enlightened. Why? Wapi pengine kama hapa? Bapo Gapi Love TV mahali ambapo Bwana anatuwezesha. Oh, kuna ndugu nilikutana naye buruburu pale shopping center. Mzee akaniambia jinsi anavyobarikiwa na neno ambalo tunalileta kupitia Agape Love TV. Nikabarikiwa sana na huyu dada ambao tulikutana pale B Center sema wow. Yeye lazima ale neno kabila ajalala. Sasa kama kazini amechoka amecherewa lakini anasema asante kwa kuwa na kipindi hiki katika masaa kama haya. Mungu akubariki. Mungu akuinue. Mungu akutendemea na Mungu akupe ufanisi na kutoshinda. Tunaendelea na chichi yetu maana tumeangalia katika maandiko maana Biblia inatuambia bingu na nchi zinapita. Na unajua shida ambayo tuko nayo katika kanisa la Kristo na zaidi katika Pentecostal church ni kwamba hatujui neno. Ndipo Biblia inasema Yesu mwenyewe akaangalia watu hivi akawaambia we are you are in error because you don't know the scripture and the power that it is in the world kama tungelijua maandiko tungekuwa tunamwambia shetani imeandikwa na hata tunamwaddress uso kwa uso shetani lakini sasa tumekuwa na wengi ambao ni wanaitwa devils chizi wanakimbizana na shetani ibada ni kuanzia mapepo na kumalizia mapepo katikati ya wiki ni deliverance after deliverance Yesu alitumia miaka mitatu kukaa na wanafunzi wake faragani akiwanenea neno kwa njia zote maana alijua itakapo ifahamu kweli kweli nayo itawaweka Ndugu yangu dada yangu tuko kwenye wakati ambapo kuna mambo mengi ambayo inafanya tuwezwe lakini nataka niombe tuingie the vini we are been called to overcome so there is that verses about overcoming kila jaribu na kila njia na kila jambo unalo litenda let me tell you kama hauta give up the other side unashinda baba wewe ni Mungu na ni asanti maana kitabu cha Ibrania kinatuambia na tukaribie na tusongee kwa imani kwenye kiti chako cha enzi hapo tunapopata rehema na neema zinazotusaidia hata wakati ulio wa mahitaji Mungu Nimekuja kwa imani pamoja na wote wanao tazama ulinga hii. Wanaofuatana na ujumbe huu. Unamjua mzee huu kwa jina lake. Baba unajua esabula nywele za dada huyu. Unajua kijana huyu unajua msichana huyu. E Mungu naomba neno la uzima ndiye ndani yake mchisusu amen and amen we have been called to overcome maana biblia inasema hakuna jaribu litakalo kuja kwa mtu wa Mungu ambalo Mungu hajaliangalia akalichunguza na akaona you have all what it takes to overcome actually unahitaji kuanza kujita I am an overcomer. No matter where you are in a military, in police, in business, in government, in politics, in church, in the ministry, wherever you are, marriage, not married, there is a way to overcome. 
Matthew chapter 4. Tangalia verse 10 and 11. Jesus said unto him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him and angels come and attended him. Who you? Yesu Christ. Aliyesi mama kasema, I am the way. I am the truth. And I am the way. Ye aliyesi mama akasema, my body is not with me. Ye aliyesema, njoni nyote ambo mesumbuka na kulemewa na mambo mazi. Dugu yangu, dada katika mwana. Ile shida, changamoto, majaribu, vita, uzito, whatever you can call it, unopitia. Niko hapa kukuambia, kuna njia ya kutokeze. Uki muamini huyu yesu, uki amini roho wake, Mana Biblia inasema Yesu akaongozwa na roho kwenda nyikani. Roho ndiyo amemuongoza. Na metiro mtakatifu lakini Biblia inasema kuingia tu pale naye shetani mwenyewe akaja na majaribu mapana. Jaribu ambalo linavunja watu moyo. Unapojikuta hauna chakula. Na ujua ukiona mtu ameanza kushindwa na kujilisha tumbo lake. Anaweza lipa nyumba. Anaweza ninua nguo. Anaweza kusafiri kama ameshindwa na kukula. Yesu alijikuta amejaribiwa. Na shetani akaachilia roho ya njaa. Maana sometimes inaachiliana Unakuta hata ukifika mahali wa shakuli. Kienda kununuliwa mahali kitu, unakati nilipitia yu mambo. Unapelekwa kwa hoteli, kitisua chakula unasikia zimeisha. Yani unaenda kupanda gari, unasikia imeja. Yani miroho inachiliwa na yule muovu, ibilisi, shetani, inaitua roho ya nja. Yani unapigwa na njaa hata ukienda kwa bank ukijaza unataka kuitisha unasikia unaweza gojo. Tuangalia mapesa ziko. Na ni kwa bank. Na ingia supermarket saa zile unataka kuchukua kitu 1 2 3 unakuta hazipo. Na unapouliza wanakuambia zimeisha kusasibu. Yesu alijaribiwa na jaribu la njaa. Yesu alijaribiwa na jaribu kiambojia ngushe vile watu wanakunywa madawa vile watu wanatafuta mbinu ya kuwata watoto wao kwa sababu amefika mahali njaa imemsonga vile vile amefika mahali amejiona am rejected i'm just alone and alone na ni wewe nimekuja ni kuambia it is for a short time yale mambo unayapiti when the season comes to be an overcomer pasa in that ministry in that church you are members wamechukuliwa na marafiki zako mtu anakuja na kufungua kanisa next to your church na anaanza feeding program and yet wewe uwezi kujifunza Anaanza mambo makubwa na wewe auna. Unakuta hata washirika wako wote wameenda. Usife moyo. Usiweke vyombo vya kazi chini. Usimpelekee Bible. Na mmoja alifika mahali ya kuikuwa na drama kwa fellowship yake ama kwa yake. 
lakini ukokaja mtu mwingine mighty huyu ilibidi achukue viti paka darama na nini akampelekea akasabeni na akaenda kutafuta kazi nilipokutana naye akasema siku ni mwingi nikamwambia pana wale wameitwa ndio wanapitia majaribu ili after majaribu waitwe washindi na nataki kuambia ni hili anayejaribiwa hata ukishindwa usikubali umeshindwa jaribu tena mwimbaji wa kikuyu alisema jeri ya ruji jaribu tena utashinda mama jaribu tena Yesu alisema namna gani maana tunaona mstari wa kumi Jesus said unto him away from me satan for it is written worship the lord your god and serve him only wangapi ja rejection na finances ama prosperity inawazuia watu wasimwabudu Mungu Yesu alipojaribiwa na hayo majaribu matatu alibidi amwambie shetani uso kwa uso si kwambia i bind you i lose you i cast you you and your mother in law i bind you i destroy you i kill you the devil satan is a spirit you need only the word unahitaji tu neno mzee watoto hao hiyo ndoa hiyo magonjo unaopita kuna hata magonjwa kubwa sio mauti Yesu aliambia wanafunzi wake vile Lazaro alivyo hiyo sio situation ya mauti na niposa alienda akamkufua kuna kushinda there is a way out to become an overcomer ask me in the few years i have been in the ministry niombia watu nilianza kuhubiri watu wengi wa Nairobi kule madhare wanajua nilianza na kinyasa from the school naweka bag chini naambia watu jesus is the lord and yet my mom alikuwa na umaskini We used to live in that poverty land. Lakini nilikuja nikamjua huyu Yesu. Na nikaanza kujua hata uko umeokoka hata shuleni ndugu naongea na mtu hapa. Hata shuleni uko umeokoka unapata kibali mbele za wali. Wengine walipokuwa nafukuzwa sababu na hubiri kwa parade. Sababu wakienda nyumbani wameona nimesimama in a certain corner nikitangazia watu and i was obedient to do my homework yani nilikuwa ninarudi shule na jaribu kuomba mapema usichelewe wengine wakichelewa walimu ninashukuru Mungu walimu wa madhare nod walimu wa Kariubangi hall wengine ni wazee wengine walienda ya yeah, natani semi ya kwamba majaribu ya njaa yapo majaribu ya kujisikia uko rejected you are alone nobody is thinking about you majaribu kutamaka wengine wako na mali lakini unaingia unajikuta ya kwamba unakula au skizi kuhitaji kwa sababu hauna mtu amekukaribia Yesu akamwambia Jesus said unto him who Sata away from me sata for it is written worship the lord your god and serve him alone kujua shetani angetaka kukuiba usimwabudu mungu wa kweli angetaka akuibe ili usitumikie mungu wa kweli That's why tunaomba kwa roho ya ulevi na kila aina ya mahali ambapo kuna kuwa na distribution ya pombe for the sake of our nation and our young people tunalia tunaomba na tumetoka kusema mpendwa 
wewe ambao umekatalia kwenye hiyo madawa za kulevya kwenye hiyo ulevi kwenye hizo tabia unaweza ukashinda unaweza leo ukiwa mlevi vile ulivyo navyo nitazama bwana akuna uwezo wa kukukomboa na hiyo roho ya mlevi maana shetani anataka akuue shetani anataka akuharibu Shetani anataka afanye nini? Amekuiba, akutumie kisha akuharibu, akuue. Na niposa Yesu akamwambia shetani, nenda toka karibu na mimi. Na unapotoka karibu na mimi naomba ukienda ujue ninahitaji ni mwabudu Bwana Mungu. Ni mwabudu na ni mtumikia. Na kweli James alisema when you resist the devil he will flee away from you. Yesu alipomwambia shetani basi leo inasema then the devil left him and the angel came and attended him. First John 5:4 anasema For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Yeyote ambaye amezaliwa na Mungu yeye ushinda ulimwengu. Dada ndugu wewe umemjua Mungu. Wewe umekili Kristo ni Bwana. Ndio umekaa for a long time hauna kazi. Najua umekaa bila kuna mtu atanaye kujali. Najua umefika mahali hata unaatemtia you join other groups. I have come as a mission to tell you for whoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith. Well, but what do you need? You need only faith. Na niposa wa Ibrania 11:6 inasemaje? Bila imani. Bila imani. Hauwezi ukampendeza Mungu. Hauwezi ukashinda hata majaribu. Hauwezi ukamfa bila imani. Lakini tunaambiwa the victory that overcomes the world even our faith and how does faith come romans 10:17 faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing the word of god usichoke kulisikia neno kwa redio usichoke kulisikia neno kwa runinga usichoke kulisikia neno kwa mtu ambao unamjua ako na neno mpigie wacha kurushie neno la Mungu ya niko na marafiki zangu nje na anaweza weka anasema ah nimekumisi mtu wa Mungu ili unene neno tunaanza kulinena imani maana imani ni nini Imani ni bayana ya mambo unayotarajia mambo usio yaona lakini yapo That is faith Faith is a substance of the things that you hope for But inaweza onekana haipo Kama sasa ninanena na wewe kwa imani hapo ambapo umeketi Na ninaamini ni wewe ambao unaambiwa for whoever is born of God overcome the world as long umezaliwa na Mungu John 1:12 wote waliomwamini Yesu Kristo wamefanyika sio watu wa Mungu wana wa Mungu na wote ambao wamezaliwa na Mungu hao ndio wanashinda ulimwengu ndugu ukiamini huyu Mungu na uliamini neno hili na utembee katika neno hili 
Biblia inakupatia guarantee victory victory is yours you are an overcomer you are an overcomer that's why Paul alipoingia katika kanisa la Wakorinto kumbuka tunaangalia then the devil left him and angels comes to attend you know why already malaika amekam kwa sababu ameojua he is an overcomer hebu shinda katika maisha uone vile utakuwa na watu wengi wa celebrate ya victory mimi uona hapa katika viwandani in slums of Kwarudi ninapohubiri arabu msichana anasimama vizuri kijana anasimama vizuri siku ya harusi mimi uona familia ukisikia wakishuhudia na umewaona tu siku hiyo mimi ni mjomba wake mimi ni baba yake tumemlea mtoto huyu tumekuwa na ye na tumewahubiria na huku yani alikuwa from nobody somewhere lakini wakati ambapo amelijua neno na akaanza kushinda naweza shinda ulevi naweza shinda ukahaba naweza shinda tamaa ya mali za dunia za wizi naweza shinda hii maisha naweza shinda sitaolewa kwa nyumba ingine ambayo iko na mme ama iko na mke when you overcome you become the friends and part of the world but this is the victory that overcomes the world even of our people so paul alipoingia katika kanisa la wakorinto aliwaambia in first corinthians 15:57 but thanks be to god which give us victory through our lord jesus christ because our victory our victory i repeat it is not to any other thing Paul anamwambia but i thank be to god namshukuru mungu which give us the victory ni mungu anayetupatia ushindi unashinda dada ndugu uwe ushindi ninaoongea such a power to overcome and you become overcomer hata wakijaribu kukuibia ili upendezwe sana nimevote sio mara tatu sio mara tano but all the time mimi ubaki nikiomba kwa wale watu ambao uattend without pay maana wana malizi yanga nimeibiwa nimenyang'anywa lakini nataka nikwambie mad romans inasema if god is on your side and god give you the power to overcome nobody can steal you nobody can steal your victory that's why paul and asema but thank be to god which gives us victory through our lord jesus christ this more victory i have it it's not for me but it is a victory ambayo nimepewa na Mungu hata kupata opportunity kuhubiri kwa tv kama hii it is not by power it is not by might but it is by the help of god by the help of the holy spirit maana na juu naweza niangalia unani judge with the outer appearance ah yeye ni tajiri yeye yeah, ako connected yeye yeah, ako nini brother you cannot be connected without god you cannot overcome without god and the apostle paul anasema na mungu apokee sifa yeye yeah, anayekupatia ushindi kupitia kristo yesu kwa hiyo ushindi wetu ndio narudi pale madhi chapter four. Then the devil left him after the devil left victory success prosperity 
food, everything. Devil, shetani ya kiondoka kwa doma yako. Shetani ya kiondoka kwa biashara yako. Shetani ya kiondoka kwa huduma yako. Na ni kosa naomba tuache kufanya kanisa sehemu za shetani kila saa toka. Let us preach the word. Madhabahu kanisa iwe mahali ambapo Mungu anatukuzwa, anaibibiwa kuliko kila saa. Ni kukimbizana na mashetani. Paka watu wanaogopa kanisa kwa sababu wanafikiria ukienda tu hiyo hata kama una pepo. Unajua na kuna pepo na wewe ujui. Wacha church iwe mahali ambapo Mungu anatukuzwa, Mungu anahimidiwa, ye anayetupatia ushindi ni Mungu ndani ya Kristo Yesu. Na niposa Paul alipoingia kwa kanisa la Warumi 8:37 inasemaje nay in all those things depression ja ha kutengwa kosa kazi kutopata mtoto kutokuolewa kutokushindwa na kulipa nyumba tembea kwa miguu nay in all those things we are more than conqueror through him that love us katika mambo haya yote sisi ni washindi sisi ni zaidi ya washindi we are more than conqueror through him that love us kwa hiyo ninakuletea ujumbe in all simplicity not by pushing you not by asking anything from you just i pray and i beseech you that hapo ambapo upo you may come to your senses that through god in christ jesus you are a victor you are an overcomer kama Yaani katika Mungu kupitia Kristo Yesu wewe ni zaidi ya mshindi. Kuna mtu anaweza shinda lakini anakuta wewe uko zaidi. I like those teachers who mark 101. Yaani umeenda beyond ile tunabango 100%. Na nikuse natani kuambia ndugu yangu dada yangu Don't retreat. Don't surrender. Don't give up even when the situation is so tough. Na muona Yesu pale msalabani. We are celebrating Easter. The everything ambao Yesu alikam out with. Yaliposema pale. Oh, is finish. Ya, yeah, kulikuwa na season ya kulia. Eloi, Eloi, Eloi. Raba saba kidhani Mungu wangu Mungu wangu mbona umeniacha Nakumbuka walikuwa wamesikizana Lakini akafika mahali akasema it is not my will but your will it is finished Na aliposema it is finished akakata roho Lakini after in the that day Mungu tunaenda Sunday tunaita Palm Sunday ya, yeah. ah, walipoenda kuangalia kabrini, wakaanza kusema, "Wow!" na tulisikia akisema, "And the that day no stone will be on the other side. The stone will be on." Jesus, he conquered the cross to become an overcomer. Jesus conquered the Pharisees, the Sadducees to become a victor. Jesus went to death. He conquered the death. He comes out of the victory. Na niposa kunaambiwa in all those things we are more than conqueror through him who through him that loved us. You see John 3:16 for God so loved 
the world. And when it talks about the world, fix yourself inside there. Kwa jinsi hii Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu akamtoa mwanae wa pekee ili anayemwa mimi huyo Yesu asipotee asiangamie bali awe na uzima na uzima wa Mungu Malaika wakaja wakamhudumia after ameshinda where are the angels for the first temptation second temptation and the third temptation You might not sometimes see angels when you are passing through the trials, through the difficulties, through the substitutions ambao unajisikia woi who is on my side. Lakini after ameshinda. Sa zile ameshinda. I like this scripture. The devil left kwa sababu ameshinda. When you stand and overcome The devil has no space, has no place. In your life, in your area, in your home, in your business. When you overcome, hizo majaribu za vitu za hongo, hizo majaribu za tamaza mwili, hizo majaribu za ulevi na ukahaba, hizo majaribu za vita za chuki, madharau, kiburi, Unaposhinda majaribu na najua unaelewa. Saa zile umeshinda na umesimama na umeambia shetani, shetani hata ufanye nini. This one I'll not do it. And the person bila inasema dada, let your yes be yes. And let your no be no. When he overcomes the devil, Satan the devil left him and the angel comes and attended him kwa hivyo malaika wanahudumia washindi but thou o lord acts a shield for me my glory and the lifter up of my head when you are defeated kichwa inakuanga chini asikia your head is so weak The neck cannot hold again the head. But with God, he is the lifter up of your head. Dada ndugu. Mtu wa Mungu. His safari unayoenda. Iko na mambo mengi. Yanaweza fanya kichwa chako kinani ujisikie uwezi endelea muone ni kama uwezi fanikiwa lakini nataka nikwambie hakuna yoyote ajuae kesho hakuna yoyote ameshikilia uhai wako hata wakijaribu kukuua na Mungu hajasema njoo no where you go kama majaribu ya kija kama mavuma mawimbi na dhuruba na Mungu Biblia inasema he will raise your standard that you may overcome Please are all men and women we call men who are heroes in the world Count Moses alikimbizwaje na Farao in the beginning Ask Moses alisumbuliwaje na wana wa Israeli akienda mlimani anakuta wamefanya nini wamejichongea sanamu wamejitengenezea sanamu paka kama mtu wa Mungu alikuwa anafika mahali anajaribiwa wameongea na Mungu ameandikwa ameandikiwa na Mungu amri kumi ili awalete usifanye usifanye akienda kufika anasikia washaji kwenyeelezea miji yao washaingilia mambo washaanza vituko aliwafuta waki dance wakiwauchi akaangalia kashindwa hawa ni wale tulikuwa nao missing ni watoto na wengine wako tuliyetoka kule wameona Mungu vile alimfanya farao waliona vile ambavyo 
mambo yamefanyika lakini baadaye mimi nafanyika nimewapitisha bali la shamu wameona Mungu akitengeneza njia katika ya ziwa through the sea and yet temptation is kija wanashindwa na kuomba kwa kwa nasema when you overcome the angel city the angel angels come and attend you the angels attended jesus yani kama unajaso sasa unakuta sasa kitamba sio we unajipanguza kuna malaika kulia kishoto kulia na kishoto wanayekupanguza ukienda kuondoka ulikuwa unatembea juu umeshinda unabebwa kwa ajabu maana umeshinda unaandaliwa meza meza ya ndali yangu jukua haiandali yangu ni twajashinda angalia watu wanapokimbia ni wengi sana lakini watatu namba 1 2 and 3 ni wanapatanga zawadi wanaitwa washimu nikubalishe ni kwambie jalishi uko kwenye kitanda wewe ni mgonjwa ajalishi kuna ma uchungu unaopitia ajalishi kuna changamoto za kifedha yani familia chochote ambacho unachopitia niko hapa ni kuambie as long you declare victory and you become an overcomer the angels will start attending you Hebrews 12 verse 1 inasema therefore seems we also are compassed about with so great and crowd of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us and let us run with the patience the race that is set before us wewe kuna mbio umewekwa mbele yetu lakini lazima ili tuwe washimu tujue tumezungukwa na wingu la mashahidi let us lay aside every weight kama kuna chochote kizito kwa mawazo yako kwa roho yako kwa maisha yako wewe unajua unaambiwa kiweke chini dhambi ambayo imekusonga the sin which does so easily inakuingia haraka sana unaambiwa ishinde and let us run with patience sasa mwingine na patience unyenyekevu ukikimbia hiyo mbio ambao umeelekea mbele. Na yuko kwenye mbio. Lakini nataka nikuambie mbele yako <laughs> niko na Yesu. Mchungaji kwa hiyo huduma. Victory. Umebakia tu kona moja uone kibao ya finish. Nasisemi unakufa. Lakini uanze kushinda issues of finances, issue of connections, if of success, victory my friend i can see be patient keep on running maana unaenda kumalizia and the angels they are waiting ukiguza tu ile kamba when you touch that rope with your chest the angel they start attending you baba mungu Sante kwa sababu kitabu cha Ibrania imetuambia tumezungukwa na mashahidi wengi. Na tuweke mizigo yote na dhambi zote ambazo zinatusonga kwa haraka ili tukaweze kukimbia katika uvumilivu kimbio ambayo iko mbele yetu. Naombea kila mmoja anayesikiliza ujumbe Mungu wetu na baba yetu anajijua. Na ninaomba kuanze kuumbika ndani yake. Aanze kusikia sauti ikimwambia add more strength. Add more effort. Keep on be patient because you are an overcomer. 
naomba ashinde kwa hiyo ndoa ashinde kwa hayo magonjwa ashinde kwa hiyo biashara baba naomba ushindi pia in jesus name amen you are on our kama because of time naona kule director ananiambia time is over namba zetu ziko mahali hapa please ni namba zangu nipigie wacha tuzungumze nao na nataka nikwambie haijalishi uko wapi let me finish as i go you know who was joseph aish out of nothing kurushwa kwa shimo anaenda kuwa second from the king what about david he was a shepherd boy and from shepherd to the king of israel today anaitangwa king david may god bless you paka anaitanishwa na yesu anaambua son of david my god wherever you are my sister my brother never give up keep on running keep on going be patient be patient that your tomorrow is coming bye bye see you when i see again kwa heri thank you for watching agape love tv it is only a place where you get blessed and you get built by your faith please if you're getting blessed by this message you can call for a prayer of deliverance healing and also for counseling or you may wish to support this ministry please our account number are there support us and may the scripture in proverbs 10:22 be your blessing the blessings of the lord add no sorrow but it makes riches bless you keep on watching